Hey YouTube, Peter Finger. I had ordered from Das Music Ding, a BE German company, I guess. Ordered four nine millimeter potentiometers. Both measure nine millimeters. And I paid them, it was like twenty bucks. I got a for four months. I got a letter back which I didn't notice it because it came uh, right after I made the purchase the day after they emailed me and it said we took your money your order is going to come blah 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 then there was another email that one said due to the special circumstances I'm, I'm really I've had it up to here with special circumstances uh I've got eBay stuff that's not showing up and people are like, special circumstances, you need to wait some more days. Like, it's been 60 days, dude. What you supposedly mailed me, you know, the last time there was any hide nor hair of tracking on it was when I gave you the money. So, <laughs> special circumstances, I'm not, I'm not waiting. And why are you going to send me three identical messages asking me to wait? You know, I, I always write, have a great day, and put a smiley face on it. Even if I'm mad, I just do that. Uh, anyhow, I contacted uh, this music thing. I ordered these pots. They sent me this email back, and it says... Special circumstances, we're not going to be able to ship your order uh, under the shipping you paid for. You paid for envelope shipping. And there's a restriction of two centimeters. That's the maximum thickness we can send. And that those nine millimeter pots aren't going to do it. <laughs> now, Two centimeters is 20 millimeters. These pots are nine millimeter. Okay. So, Das Music Tank, you're just shooting yourself in the foot by refusing my order. And I missed the message. I missed the email. I waited for months. Finally, I'm like, where's, when are those pots coming from Germany? Like, I would have thought those Germans would have had it. The Schutzen mail, fast, you know, like it'd show up on the back of a V2 rocket. Quickly, you know, wake up the next morning, here's those little guy out there running in place. It's just pots. Oh, Peter Zang, here you go. V gates. <laughs> no, two months later, no pots. So I checked my Das Music Dink, did a search, it comes up. We can't ship these 9mm pots because the limit, because of the special circumstances, has become 2 centimeters. 2 centimeters is 20 millimeters. And these pots are 9 millimeters. So yeah, I, like, anyway, uh, they were like the other shipping method is 28 Deutschenmarken or whatever and I did type that in and it would be 47 US dollars for the shipping on four pounds <laughs> 50 bucks and they said and and you won't have to play you won't have to pay the VAT which the VAT was like two dollars so I'm like yeah, that, that's that's I don't know what your DAS shrunking over there, but that's, that ain't gonna fly. So I emailed them yesterday and I said, in response to your email, I copied their email, I copied my invoice number, I copied everything I possibly could and I included it with the message. My response is, refund my fucking money, okay? I was polite, I didn't, I didn't curse them out. So this is what I get back today. 
Das Music Ding to PT Two Finger. Info at das Music Ding dot de. Bitte gehören sei an der Alben Alber Deicher sein Eiben. Frei Arfagi six nine two oit oit ist einen Gagen Gagen und Uhr von Username Sporten überpuften. Um Schlöstek Ki Kometeter Hinzen fügen. Antworten sei auf dies E-Mail. <lacht> das E-Mail ist ein Service von das Music Dink Beretze Gefällt von Zendesk. Data and Schutz and Dricken Dicken Litten Teeny. So, yeah, I copied that and pasted it into Google Translate and it says your request 69288 has been received and is being reviewed by our support team. To add additional comments, reply to this email. So do I dare <laughs> do I dare respond to them? I just want my money back. Like I paid them I paid them a long time, and I, I'm sure they've won and wisely invested this in Deutschmark. Do you or want more interest? Yeah. Das Music Dog. No. <laughs> I, this was, uh, I had joined a pedal forum, Guitar Pedal Builder. I got I got out of all of that. I quit all those forums. They're, they're, uh, they're a hole in the ground which you throw your time. It's an incredible waste of time. People asking questions uh, about where to put the compressor in the signal chain, where to put the phaser, and then goofing on the metal zone. And then there'll be the occasional people that love the metal zone because they didn't plug it into the front of their Line 6 Spider. They plugged it into the return or the power amp input of their tube amp. And it sounds fantastic. Because that's an amp sim pedal, is what that is. Anyway, my, my uh, metal zone was, it's a Digitech DF7 distortion modeler, which has a cab sim outlet on it which cuts even more of the high frequencies, and it, I, I love that thing. I love it. I mean, it, I wouldn't use that, I wouldn't like, here's my metal zone, and that's my only tone for the rest of my life. But, uh, yeah, I set it uh, at noon, and then I turned the treble up, halfway in between noon and, so three quarters. I take the mid frequency, and cut that down a little bit from 1K or center notch, which I'm, I'm guessing, and then uh, reduce that frequency a little bit more. And then I boost the low just a little bit, not even three-quarter. It's between three-quarter and half. That's how I set the DF7 model. And I love it. It sounds fantastic. But that's besides the point. These particular guitar forums, I had asked, hey, where do you all pedal builder? It was pedal builder form. Where do you guys get your 9 millimeter pots? Tata. I said, yeah, Tata doesn't. They're, they're out of stock on the 100 KB, and they don't carry uh, all of the values that are in the market. Which is like, what's up with that, Tata? They've gotten better. They carry more than they used to when they first started carrying 9mm pots. So, yeah, eventually all that stuff will come in and I'll be able to finish up this, well, start it. It's a runoff groove Thunderbird, the Thundy, and that's going to be an amp, so I'm super stoked about that. I got these Clark Gainster Mojo Hoochie Mama pedals. I'm building two of those. One for me, 
and the other one's for uh, buddy, pal, internet guy I met through YouTube. Uh, so I'm excited about that. I, I really wanted to make one for my favorite guitar player. And then I thought, I, you know what? It's just kind of awkward, like, giving the guy something, you know. So, I mean, if he, if he wants a pedal belt, he can ask me. I already built him a couple. And he's got, he's got that one on his board. It's number one overdrive is what I built for him. So anyway, you two, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Uh, I apologize for making a video where I just gripe. But I'm going to be updating this until I get my money back. <laughs> Dust music dink. Yeah. Das Music Dink. No. We don't do that. I, I get that it's international, like, you know, Tata is supposedly international, but they've figured out how to drop ship or what. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Tata. I don't know how they do it. Uh, the addresses is always from some place in Texas or Virginia or some weird address. I get the stuff like a week later. It's always, not always. I think I've had some. You should go through your stuff and double check it with your order if you're getting it from Tata. But generally, they they do an exceptional job. And Das Music Think, I don't know why they took my money. If this special circumstances come up and they can't ship. Uh, envelope. To be honest with you, I bet you, I'm, I'm willing to bet that they didn't have them. You know? And then they figure, oh, well, don't tell him that. He might have a YouTube channel and he might go tell all of his buddies, don't buy stuff from Das Music, think, D-E. But to have an email sent to me from them and say, it's going to be 50 bucks for the other shipping option, or you could just get your money back. And then I'd respond and go, yeah, I'd like my money back. And they send me another email saying, we're going to take up your case. <laughs> like, what, what? Please do. Please do. And uh, give me my money, bitch. <laughs> right? Isn't that always it? All right, you guys. Peace.